Mr. Chapik, I'm so sorry to bother you, but Imagineering has unthawed Walt Disney's head, and he would like to see you. Bob Chaprick, I thought it was time to thaw myself out so we could get to know each other a little better. I loved Disneyland, and nobody believed in it. I had to refinance my home and sell my life insurance just to pay for it. But I knew I had something special. A real cash cow. I wanted to build a place where families could go and have fun together. And I didn't mean rich families. I meant all families. Apparently you're charging to go on the rides. We're starting with the new Star Wars ride. It's very popular and runs a very, very long line. But you can slip us a random variable fee of 15 to $40 and wait in a shorter line. But I can also wait in the regular line. Actually, there is no line. You said I could wait in the regular line. We don't have a line because the ride is just too darn popular. So we run a lottery system every day at 7 a.m. three hours before the park opens. It's immediately booked solid for the day. So most guests start their day feeling disappointed and like a loser. You might see it that way. So if there's no line, I'm just paying for the ride. The Star Wars ride is 20 minutes long. We could have cut two minutes off it and got a couple more thousand people on it, but our primary goal was always to create an intolerable line. You're turning my park into a common carnival. You're treating her like a cheap hooker. We're just dipping our foot in the water now. We plan to expand pay to ride to all the popular attractions. We're already doing it at Disneyland Paris. And if the consumer will pay 20 bucks to ride Peter Pan, we'll support that consumer receptivity. I just paid $200 to walk in the gate. And now I have to pay $20 for a two minute ride? Why would anyone do that? We feel the 5 to 16 demographic will pretty much force the 25 to 45 demographic to pay for it. What's next? Pay toilets? Yes. Tolls on Autopia? $20 to meet Mickey and Minnie? If I slip Minnie a 50, will I get a dance on the lap? 70 for the lap dance. 150 for Pinocchio? Bob, I don't think you're a bad person exactly. But Disney is a wonderful place. Not a financial behemoth run by a bunch of money-grabbing buffoons. But now I'm back, and the company will have an actual creative head. It's time for you to get the hell out of here, and Bob, you're an asshat. And you're a floating head in an aquarium. I really don't think there's room for two creative heads. Bye-bye, Walt. Mr. Disney to you. <laughs> Bob, you look as though you've never seen a ghost. Well, I feel marvelous. It's wonderful to have an entire body again. And it's time to make some big changes around here, Bob. And I'll be with you every step of the way.